This episode of Threadbanger is brought to you by Cotton's new online exclusive fashion show, Inseam. Hey, what's up, everyone? You're watching Threadbanger. Corinne and I are here in front of the Gershwin Theater in New York City about to see the hit Broadway musical, Wicked. But before we go in to see the show, we're headed backstage to interview the Tony Award-winning costume designer of the production, Susan Hilferty. Let's go. Hey, I'm Susan Hilferty. I'm a costume designer for the stage. Today, I'm sitting here in the basement of the Gershwin Theater, the theater in New York City where Wicked, the production that I designed, is running. So you can see around me some of the costumes from the production. I've been very lucky to receive a Tony Award for my designs for Wicked, which was pretty exciting. Wicked was all about literally creating a world. And so, as a costume designer, I'm creating everything. What is it like in this land of Oz? I've created a culture so that I know how to develop what are ultimately the clothing ideas. What would it be like, for instance, if I put a sleeve on upside down? What if I turned something sideways? What if I twisted it? What if I took a top hat and instead of having it be the top hat that we know, have it have two tops? I call it riffing. There's a lot of riffing in Wicked specifically um, that uh, I'll take an idea and literally like a jazz musician play on it. What would happen if I tried this and this? Into the men's dressing room here, we brought some of the um, costumes from the two leading ladies of Wicked. Glinda and Elphaba, the good witch and the bad witch, are the iconic costumes. Um, this is Glinda. She's based on, the image for her is the sky, stars, clouds. It's corseted to hold her in and to hold the shape. Within this costume alone, there are nine fabrics. Um, the, whether or not it's the understructure that's holding the skirt out, the petticoats, um, the petticoats with the many layers of laces that we'll see as she runs around the, um, the stage. You'll see all the iridescent fabrics. All of the sequins are hand sewn, so if you look around this dress and see all of the petals, you realize how many um, individual sequins have been sewn to make this costume. Elphaba is the Wicked Witch. My vision for her was as if she came from the center of the earth. If you imagine a piece of coal that has mica in it, this is a pretty astonishing um, skirt. It takes um, um, two weeks for one stitcher to make this whole dress. Literally, there's 40 yards of fabric that have been cut up and stitched on to be all of these layers. This, se this section in the center, that's, uh, um, I call it the corset section that's brought her in, is a combination of 12 different fabrics that have been literally quilted together, cut, and stitched and quilted so it actually feels like it's one fabric. We want her to feel kind of rough and ready. We leave strings hanging, bits and pieces of the strings happening. She has to do a lot of things in this dress. One of the amazing things about the clothes that are made for a Broadway show or any show that's running for a long period of time is that you have to imagine that it does eight performances a week every week. They are made to last in a way that most of your clothes would never have to last, would never have to last through that many performances, that much sweat. And into the ladies dressing room. And this is where I wanted you to see some of the unbelievable detail that has been created for the clothes. There's over 7,000 fabrics in, in Wicked. As I said, a lot of them we've actually, we manufacture, I've designed that have been printed or woven um, or cre literally created by mixing fabrics together. This is the bodice of a, a dress that what you're seeing is fabric that's literally been created by dyeing ribbon, ombreing it and creating it, and then literally it's all stitched on into this fabric to create this unbelievable pattern. You can see fabric that's been beaded, even then ruffles that are all pleated fabrics that have been dyed, ribbons that have been gathered up to give a decorative edge to the, the cuff. All of the shoes in Wicked are designed as well, so this is my riff on a um, Converse sneaker, then playing with the idea of a turn of a century shoe. 
The set for Wicked is seemingly in a place that we call the dragon clock. So you'll see a dragon at the top, and the rest of the set is based on gears. So as a feature, we've added clock parts that really give it a um, real retro feel. It feels like it comes from an antique time. Have you done anything on steampunk? I would say that that's a very similar feeling to what the, um, the Wicked clothes have. So in many times you actually will feel, you don't quite know it, but it will feel like it's from another time, kind of like steampunk. Fear is the biggest keeper of somebody being able to do their, their work, any kind of work. The fear of making a mistake, the fear of, of not getting it right the first time. And that fear keeps people from trying things, making fantastic mistakes, dramatic mistakes, hopeless mistakes, but that mistake that you can then learn from and make your work better. So have courage, go for it, try it. That's, that's the, um, the best advice I can give. I do believe I have been changed for the better. I'm so glad that I had a chance to talk about my work with you. Thank you for coming down today um, and seeing some of my work for Wicked. If you wanted to um, see my other work, you can go to my website, SusanHilferty.com, and you can also see WickedTheMusical.com if you wanted to see more about Wicked. It was really great to share with you. Thanks. Well, the show was awesome. Susan, thanks for the words of wisdom, and thanks for hanging out with us on the show. Make sure you check back tomorrow for our first Halloween how-to, where we show you how to make a Wicked Witch costume inspired by Susan herself. See you then.